Hello everyone, my name is Jade and welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing the 100 Baby Challenge. So I gave Annalie a new makeover because I got a lot of new CC. So I, uh, I'm actually just going to go and cast to show you. From what I can see though, this outfit isn't the most flattering considering she's really pregnant, but it's also really loose, so I feel like that would look good. Look at the face she's making! <gasps> Oh my god. Why? <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. But I feel like, oh, I pressed a weird button because I am recording a video. Ooh, how do I undo that? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, stop. Okay. Never done that before. Um, let's try to get this, uh, face again. Alright, that was weird. Let's just go into Cass. But, like, what I was gonna say is, like, I think the outfits are really cute, and I'm hoping that they'll work with the fact that she's always pregnant. Because, <laughs> like, the shirt she's wearing right now is, like, a really loose tank top. So, I thought that would work for her. And, um, I gave her a couple new hairstyles, and they're a little bit more brown than the other ones, because the color of that other hairstyle was, like, not EA. Well, you could tell it wasn't EA, but I like this a lot better. I kind of didn't like the way that her hair looked, if I'm going to be honest. All right, let's check it out. Oh my god, and I have so much to tell you about what's been going on. So I took a day off from recording just to spend some time with Annalie. This is her first outfit. Super cute, and it's still really sexy, too. I think it would be really nice for pregnancy. But I took a day off camera to... No, that's not what I want to do. Ooh, we should give her a new tattoo. Ooh, oh, I want to do that. I took a day off to work on Annalie, and I had her just write the entire day, and I think she finished four or five books, which is amazing. I like that. So we have a lot more books, so we'll be making a lot more money from that, which is super awesome. And I, I didn't know she could write books so fast. I think it's so amazing that she can. I'm pretty proud of her, honestly. I think she definitely needs some more tattoos. Something to symbolize her. Where is this tattoo? I thought it would be on the boob. Okay. Um. I don't think she's a chest tattoo type of person though at all. That would get rid of her other tattoo, which I don't really want to do. Cool! That do I don't think it has significance for her though. Hmm, not that one. Here, we have this, which is like a, um, a name. So that could be like someone special to her. I like that. Okay. I like what we have going on. I want to look uh, one more time though. I didn't expect to be doing this, but I am pretty excited that I got to. I'll do an under the boob tattoo. That meshes with the other one though. That's too big for her. She's not that much of a tattoo person. This, I bet I can find something now. What's up, Anna? My cat is being loud. Okay. Sweetheart, what's wrong? Why is my cat meowing at me? Ooh, that's cool. What is it? I can't tell, but it's cool. I don't know. I don't think she'd have a sleeve, actually. I just wanted to play around. I definitely want a sim who has a lot of tattoos, though, at some point in an LP. All right, let's move on. <laughs> so this is her other outfit. It's super pretty. This is, like, her normal hair. Her other one's, like, her fancy blown-out one, but this will be her new normal hair. So this is pretty cute. And then we have this one, which is also really adorable. And that's like her straightened hair. 
they're all a lot more casual now, which I like. And then when she has a new formal outfit, which is super dashing on her. And this as well. Super pretty. And then uh, we didn't do anything with these, I don't think. No, I didn't change. I just put a different hair on it. And that is all. But I think she's looking very stunning. Oh, I gotta click the check button. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but, um... So I can show you, like, whenever a royalty report comes in, literally all the books we wrote. And then I still have some to sell to publisher, too. So she's been doing really good. And she's in the middle of her last one, which is about Clara. I No, it's about Dawn. She's writing one about Dawn right now, which is super awesome. I forgot we had a baby in the last part. Or a couple parts ago. It was very recent. <laughs> But yeah, so she's just been spending some time taking care of herself, and she's been really enjoying it. And I just thought we should take a day off so that she could focus on that for a little while. Oh yeah. You know, I still need to learn about the Cursed Lot trait, because I know it can kill people, I just don't know how, and I'd be interested in learning how it does do that. I just haven't... Okay, I have a list with two things that I've want, been wanting to do, and it has been there for at least a month. And I have not done them. One of them is look up what's the curse lot trade about, and the other one is watch some videos on some good skincare items, just because I want a good face wash. And I uh, haven't done that either. Don't know why not. <laughs> uh, hurry up. Should I just stop recording and wait until it's loaded in? Ugh. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone, I'm back. And while I was waiting, I searched up the cursed lot trait to find out about it. I now know that like it doesn't just kill your Sims like straight up, but like they're more likely to die from electrocution or start fires, and food goes bad faster and stuff like that. So like, good to know. Annalise working on her book some more. Um, I think we have one in her inventory. Yeah, we do. So we can go ahead and publish that. And it's Clara's missing clock because it was a mystery. I was like, let's make this a cool mystery sound. Um, so right now we are in our second trimester and we still got a little while left trying to think of what I want to do today. Maybe we should hang out with the girls, because we haven't done that in a little while, and I mean, we have nothing really... I think we should go out, because we just spent the yesterday home. So let's go do that. Should we invite them here? Or... No, I think we want to leave. I think we should go out... I keep forgetting to put the baby in the crib. Um, I think we should go out to our yacht. She looks so pregnant right now, dang. <laughs> Her, she looks really good in that top. That is all I have to say about that. Alright, and then let's travel. Oh, did we just get our royalties? Sweet. So we have Falling Blossoms, Carter's Tartar to Venus, and Bella's Blight, but we already had those. We made Cameron's Camera, Christopher in the Ocean Blue, um, Carter's Charter and then <laughs> Clara's missing this. It's interesting how I didn't know I had already made one about Carter, and it's literally... <laughs> Ooh, that's funny. Okay, don't help. No cheating. Anna, what the heck do you want? My cat came back and started meowing at me again. I think I need to feed them. I'll have to do that. Uh, okay, I'll pick it back up when we are with the girls. All right, everyone, I'm back again, and oh my god, I just watched, like, such a heartbreaking episode of Criminal Minds. It wasn't heartbreaking, it was just like, oh god. Um, anyways, so we are here with the girls. Nancy didn't show up, but that's okay, I think she's working. I finally remember, I uh, finally made it to Lilith is immortal to the sun, so she won't burn anymore, so that we can have her outside now, which is quite nice but so we're just catching up a little bit we're announcing our obvious pregnancy and they're like damn girl you and Monk must be getting really busy but of course Bella knows the truth they like Bella knows about us we told her I think someday we'll be able to open to everyone except Nancy basically you know what why don't we open up now let's be like 
Girls, I have something to tell you. It's probably not going to be a big surprise, but uh, me and Malcolm, I don't have. I don't have all these children with Malcolm. I uh, I have a lot of affairs, and I enjoy myself. And they're like, oh, darling, tell us about that. Because they, I mean, they're all in, in happy marriages. I mean, Lilith's not with anyone, but they're all, Eliza and Bella are in happy marriage, unhappy marriages. So they're like, and Annalise just explained to them, like, she loves Malcolm. Well, she cares about Malcolm, but she doesn't think she loves him. And she's actually telling them about how she only married, she married him because Nancy pressured her and threatened her. And she feels like she just doesn't know what to do so uh, the other girls are just kind of like f taking a little break like they're trying to f figure out in their head what they think they should do and Bella came over here to comfort us because she knew it took us a lot to open up about that and uh, so she's just gonna tell Bella how you know she doesn't love Malcolm but she kind of thinks that she's falling in love with Bajoran and She's kind of scared and doesn't know what to do because she really does care about Bajoran and she can't be with him because, you know, Nancy. But we're going to become best friends with her right now. I think this is a moment that's much needed because she is definitely our real best friends. I mean, we have Amber and we're really close to her, but it's a lot different now that we're the way we are and that we're high status it's hard for us to explain and amber wouldn't understand but bella she she understands us quite a lot and she cares about us so we're just gonna tell her about bajorn and how we're feeling things for him we've never felt before and it's making us a little scared She's like, darling, I do not know what to do about that. Okay, we're having some glitches. <laughs> but that's alright. Um, we're becoming best friends with Bella, which is super awesome. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get a picture of this. I need... I'm going to take a picture of them hugging. Because this is just... Well, actually, maybe this picture will work. We'll see. She looks so funny there. I love it. Okay, this is cute, actually. I do like this picture. We'll do a little bit closer, too. Alright. Now, all we have to do is give um, Lilith a makeover, and all of our girls have makeovers, which is super awesome. But I think we really need to hang out with Bella by ourselves, and just, like, figure out what's going on with her, because I definitely feel like... Bella, since she's, we've helped her, like, get herself a makeover, and she's being super, she feels super good about herself again. I think she's having a lot more troubles at home because of it, and I don't think she's that happy anymore, so I think we need to have a one-on-one -on -one time with her to figure out what's going on, you know? And if she needs it, maybe we can introduce her to someone. I'd be down to do that. Oh, Sweet. I love it. Okay. Let me grab this here. Ooh, darling, you're gonna pee your pants. Of course you are. This is why I hate pregnant sims. They're always about to pee them pants. Alright. Go to the bathroom now. Stop talking. <laughs> Girl, hurry up. This lot, I love it. It's super awesome. But it's really, really hard on my game. And it's rather hard for me to use. So I'm not sure how often we're going to be getting to go to the yacht in the future. Because, yeah, it's a little bit too much. <sighs> okay, good. Now we won't pee our pants, hopefully. We need to see Bajoran, I think. I think we've... And though we haven't really spent a lot of time with the girls, we kind of caught up a little bit. I think we're starving and we're thinking about Bajoran a lot, so maybe we'll ask him out on a date. 
I hadn't planned on doing that, but she was thinking about him, and she admitted that she felt things for him she never felt before, and so now she's thinking about him a lot. Okay, let me do it this way. So I think she wants to see him. Ronnie's the one we just had this baby with. Oh. Oh, it's because I'm in a club gathering, so I'm going to end the club gathering. Oh boy, that's just sad. So who all do we have? We've had a baby with him. I haven't had a baby with Jeffrey yet. He's been difficult with us. Otherwise, that rolls good. Well, eventually I have a baby with Bajoran, just not yet. Um, we've had a baby with Marcus, but that's it. Wow, we have a lot of guys we can have kids with. Yeah, we never had a baby with Krisha. He was our nanny, and we just became best friends with him right away, which kind of kind of creepy and. We never had a baby with Caleb either. We just hung out with him once. Did I end the club gathering? Yeah, I did. So we should be able to ask him out on a date. He might be working. He works till 4 p.m., so we'll wait another hour. I love how Lilith... I don't know if she, like, went to take a nap or something, but she looks a little weird. You know... Okay, never mind. I really hope that Eliza is okay with our mission because she kind of walked away when we told her and hasn't come back and that kind of worries me. So we're just going to actually come up to her and be like, hey, I hope that you're not mad at me and that, you know, basically we don't want her to tell her husband or Nancy because <gasps> Nancy's here. Why is she dressed like that? I swear I didn't have that outfit on her. Anymore. Oh god, is she about to go tell Nancy? <gasps> Would she betray us like that? Maybe we made a mistake. Oh no, she's following. Oh wait, I ended the club gathering, so she's probably going home. That's what's happening. That's all. She's not going to tell Nancy. I hope. Nancy's upset. The oh, <gasps> Cameron can age up into a teen now. Oh, and so can... Oh, my God. Carter can move out. <gasps> the twins can move out. Oh, we have to have a birthday party. Oh, my lordy. So, we need to have a birthday party to m move out the boys and age up Cameron. My God. I wasn't prepared for that. Okay, good. Now, she's going to come all the way here to see... Eliza, Eliza, but, you know, we're trying. Oh, no, Eliza's coming all the way back. Oh, that's even worse. I changed my mind. We can call her later. <laughs> How far away is she? I think she's coming up the stairs. So we're just talk to her real quick, see if everything's all right. You know what? I think... I don't know if we'll have time to see Bajorn. I think we'll just give him a call and be like, Hey, we miss you. And then hopefully we can make a time tomorrow to see him. But I think it's important tonight to be there for our kids' birthdays, you know? So I think we'll do that later. But we're just going to go home now because... Eliza's like, yeah, I totally get it. I'm not happy with Bob at all. We haven't slept in the same bed in, like, seven years. I would gladly find someone else that makes me feel happy, and I'm glad that you're searching for someone who does. And It's horrible that Nancy does that to you. And she's like, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for understanding. And, you know, we could go out sometime and find a guy for you that would make you happy. I would love to do that. And she's like, really? That sounds so awesome. She's like, yeah, I like... I think Bella's not happy too, and maybe we three can go out and find guys. And I mean, Lilith doesn't have anyone. You're like, that'd be so awesome. Let's do that. So we have plans to find guys. I don't know if we'll do it all together or separately, but we'll figure it out, you know? We'll figure it out. We'll find them some side guys. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut back when we are at home. All right, everyone, I am back once again, fourth time, and we are currently making the birthday cake, and the birthday party started, and all the kids are arriving. It's going to be a pretty late birthday, considering it's already like 7 o'clock, but 
I just wanted to have all the kids over and to spend some time with them. Girl, make the damn cake. Don't just stand there or else this will never get done. People these days. Alright, good. She's working on it now. But right now, uh, Christopher and Carter are talking, trying to figure out what they want their living situation to be once they move out. I'm not dealing with a crying toddler right now. Why are you crying? Okay, you have no reason. It's okay. Alright, good. <laughs> but so yeah, they're trying to figure out what they want to do. He's into that one girl, but I don't think they ever developed a really big relationship, so I don't know if they're going to like get married or anything like that. But we'll figure it out. Bella? Bluebell is looking super pretty right now. As always. Guys, I'm watching Criminal Rides right now. And um, Morgan got arrested for murder. I know that he didn't do it, obviously. But it's still so messed up. And I'm so mad. Uh, he's tense from not being with his wife. You are at work. That's not her fault. Yeah, Butler, take care of that, please. We don't have time. We're trying to make a cake. Um, you want to make a drink? You appear to want a, some nectar. And we have to make three bar drinks. So why don't you go ahead and make your favorite drink? And since the boys are aging up, they can probably have a drink too now. Because they're... Well, they're probably not 21. But it's the Sims. It's okay. <laughs> Our uh, darling's over there just playing. That's cute. God, I hate his snooty walk. If his favorite drink's not nectar, we'll make him another one because he really wants his favorite drink, and I have no idea what it is. Oh, it's definitely nectar. Oh, wait, no, it's not because he didn't just pour it into a glass. Okay, interesting. Surprise. What is it? I think I've probably figured this out before. I just don't remember. Let me make sure the cake's not done. All right, let's add bright the candles. First, we'll age up the littlest one, Cameron, because he's not doing anything. So we'll have him come over here. We're super excited. All of our kids are literally just playing on the computers, not being social. They probably had a hard work day or something. Alright, so appears his favorite drink is... Zebra Fizz. Interesting. I'm surprised. Annalie's gonna want to be here, otherwise I'd have her go get her. Or she's pregnant, she can't drink anyways. Forgot about that. Let's have the other boys come down though. But and one of them can make a drink. He's now a teenager. Ooh. What will Cameron be into? I want him to be creative. Let's have him be... No. Mm. Let's have him be friend of the world. I like that. And he's already outgoing. So let's make him... Um... Mm, I don't know. Let's do just good. He's just going to be a super good kid, I can tell. Oh, we got a bunch of gifts for his birthday, which is super awesome. He's a cutie. Alright, so add some more birthday candles, though, before anyone eats the cake. <sighs> please, please hurry. Please hurry. Please hurry. Oh, no, it's too late. Okay, no, they're going to the fridge. It's okay. Ooh, good. Give me a heart attack. Alright, you can go make your favorite drink. Apparently his favorite drink is a glass of wine. That's interesting. Oh, and his sister stole it from him. Ha! <laughs> so much for getting your birthday drink. We'll have to make him another one. Can you come here and blow this out? No, it's kind of being weird. We'll figure it out. Um, does anyone like to play the guitar? I think one of the sons does. And we can have him play it for that wish. 
you blow out candles and you can go and play the guitar or the violin since it's right here just somebody play an instrument go ahead you can learn I'm still not gonna give him the magician straight m musician straight because I have too many of my kids with it like all of my first kids all had the musician straight I swear sweet all right sweetheart it's time to become an adult oh she's so excited oh she's so beautiful okay hurry up babe and I'll give them all makeovers and I'll show them to you in the next part uh, I didn't get like any good pictures but I tried <laughs> mm. everyone's like woo God, I have too many kids want with that aspiration, too. I need to, like, switch my life up a little bit. Our child sent us a gift. That's interesting. All right, darling, come and pee, please. Everybody pause. No one take a piece of cake. I forgot I gotta add one more pair of candles. Because apparently everyone decides to age up at once. Do not eat. Add them candles, and then I'll let her pee. Add the candles. Oh no, someone's gonna eat it. If anyone eats that cake, I will be extremely upset. Come on, make it. You can make it. Ugh. Oi. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna have him come and make a glass of nectar so we can have that thing done. I can have a soft shadow Merlot. All right, candles are set, and you, love, once you're done going to the bathroom, can come blow them out. We still need someone to play an instrument. Annalie, you need to pee. We don't want you peeing, because that's just not fun. Once he ages up, though, then we can have everyone eat cake, so that'll work. And then we can just socialize one more. And hopefully we'll get an actual good birthday ending. Because that would be nice to do for once. Alright, he's an adult. Yay! <laughs> Adulthood! Guys, we don't have any kids at our house almost, it feels like. We definitely need to have more. <laughs> Though the next one I think is only going to be one. Wait, no, I can't remember if we had a, like almost a full household when we got pregnant or not. So we'll have to figure that out. I don't think so, though. So it's a possibility that we might get a lot. Why are you trying to... Oh, you don't know your big brother, Andrew. That's weird to me. Okay. All right, so he's a, he wants to be a computer genius. All right. Then let's do ambitious. You can make him ambitious. That's we have a lot of gifts in the mail, you guys. So you can meet your older brother that you've never met before. That'd be good to do. <laughs> um, make sure that you actually know all of your family members. That's always a good thing. Okay. Annalie, what are you doing? You want to eat a slice of cake? I'd like to have someone play an instrument for an hour. If I could find the guitar. I know I have it in here somewhere. Will you come and play the piano? I don't think we have an hour left, but... I'd really enjoy it if you would for me, baby. <laughs> and Annalie is exhausted and needs to go to bed. Because <laughs> she's going to pass out soon if she doesn't. She's pregnant. It's understandable. Alright, and how's Malcolm doing? Is he about... No, nope, he's okay. He's just made himself a bad drink. That's funny. There's no cake left, so he'll have to eat something else. He wasn't here for any of the birthday that's sucky I wonder why 
I think he just had a bad day at work and he's missing Annalie and wants to spend some time with her. That's all. He's a t he's a moody guy, honestly. That's all I really have to say about it. All right. Anyways, so I'm gonna end this part here. And uh, if you liked it, leave a comment. Oh, wait, leave a like. I'm <laughs> sorry. And comment down below, like, what you think the kind of guys are the girls in their club would be interested in. You know, like. Would Bella Goth be into another, like, mysterious guy or something like that? You know, that's what I'm interested in knowing. I love you all so, so very much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!